Hi, Shana Tova. March 13th, 2020. Do you know what you were doing? I will never forget. I was in the arrivals area of Terminal 2 at JFK Airport waiting for Seth to come home too soon from his study abroad. I tried not to stand too close to anyone, but we didn't know what the right distance was. I tried not to breathe on anyone or be breathed on, and I scanned the arrivals board anxiously. But amid all this stress and anxiety, I had a sense of calm, a touch point. In my ear, through my phone, by the miracle of technology and the hard work of RTFH clergy and staff, I was listening to Shabbat services. The rabbi's words of reassurance, the cantor's prayerful songs, the familiar liturgy, and knowing that all of you were listening too, adrift at JFK at the start of a global pandemic, I was with friends. The theme of this year's Kol Nidre appeal is we worship together. And when I was asked if I would serve as Kol Nidre chair, I accepted gladly. The togetherness of RTFH has been indispensable to me and my children for almost 25 years. For Leah, the temple was a place of acceptance and calm throughout the hectic and demanding middle school and high school years. For Seth, it's been a place where everyone has watched him grow from a toddler clapping along with the music to an accomplished young man, a place where people smile, hug, and say, sometimes embarrassingly, look at how much you've grown. For me, RTFH has been all this and more. It's a religious and spiritual home where I've learned and grown. It's warmth, consistency, and friends. It's someone who stood next to me during the first Kaddish after my dad died. <sighs> Smiles at the front door, weekly Shabbat Shalom texts, warm greetings in the sanctuary, and a friend whose corny jokes buoyed me during a really difficult time. It's a rabbi and a cantor whose words and prayers provide strength and guidance. It's the feeling of being grounded and secure during tumultuous times. Since that night in 2020, we've learned that together is not a place. Together is the feeling and the people who create that feeling. I think we always knew that, but COVID has drawn that into sharp focus. RTFH is a people who care about you, familiar foods, shared routines and jokes, feeling of comfort and normalcy in the midst of chaos. RTFH is the place where we pray for peace and comfort and hope, a place to share troubles and a place to share simchas. During this pandemic, your spirit and commitment, your participation and donations have kept RTFH alive. Not just alive, we've thrived. Attendance at services is consistent and strong. Our volunteerism is at an all-time high. People who had not been volunteers in the past have stepped up to help with a wide variety of tasks. We've got technology to congregants, we helped people with the, get online and get comfortable with Zoom. We did phone trees and virtual visits. We made sure everyone who wanted a vaccine was able to get one. We conducted virtual B'nai Mitzvah, virtual funerals where we supported our congregants. We even did a virtual mitzvah day and successful Hanukkah and Passover programs. When things have been hard, we have come together and worked as a team. Throughout the pandemic, our spirit has been strong. We, all of us, have kept RTFH going. Not only have we had a commitment of spirit, we've also made financial commitments. Our gratitude fund emergency fundraising drive was successful beyond our expectations, and overall donations were steady. The Grateful Fund allowed RTFH to cover losses from the pandemic, even when our building has been closed. Your donations have helped keep our temple afloat during really difficult times. Now, when we thought we would be back in person 100%, we continue to face COVID-related challenges. We worship together, but not always in the same place. We need to continue to show our support for our temple. We need to continue our dedication of spirit and our financial commitment to RTFH. In order for our beloved temple to stay strong and viable, we need to stay engaged and we need to keep up our financial connection to RTFH. 
Kol Nidre donations have always been an integral part of the temple budget, and it's a way for us to keep our dues and religious school fees affordable. All of the wonderful programs we're able to do, all the great things that make our temple so vibrant, depend on donations from members. Special programs in our religious school, exciting opportunities for our teenagers, adult education programs, social justice initiatives, keeping our buildings safe and secure, and the work done by our committees all depend on the generosity of your donations. Donating to RTFH has never been easier. You all received a Colnidre appeal letter in the mail, and you can respond to it by mail, paying by check or with credit card, just as we've always done in the past. You can also donate online. On the RTFH website, rtfh.org, click where it says Col Nidre Appeal, and then on the button that says Support our Col Nidre Appeal, and then you can select an amount, enter your personal information and your payment information, and you're done. If you're watching on the live stream tonight, you can click on the Give button at the top of the page. That will open a donation window, and then you'll be able to select your amount of donation, enter your personal information, and enter your payment information. I'm not really usually very good at asking people to donate money, but this is an easy ask. I hope I'll never have a night like March 13th, 2020, but if I do, I know that I'll have this community to lean on and pray with. We've learned in the past year and a half how important this community is to all of us, and we've learned how important we are, all of us together and individually, in keeping our temple alive. Please donate generously. Join me in financial support for the Reformed Temple of Forest Hills, our spiritual home, our community, so we can be there for each other for many years to come. Thank you.